The moment we've been waiting for has arrived. We finally get to see Mirio versus Overhaul for the first time, and it was pretty good. It was sick. Welcome back to another Anime and Beyond episode review. Today we're breaking down My Hero Academia Season 4, Episode 10. Lemillion. Now, this is what we've been waiting for. We're finally get to talk about it. He went up against two people two different times. Same time. And at one point, it's kind of like three people. Dude, that training is paying off with him and uh, Night Eye. Mm -hmm. Man, he's predicting the movements. He was just like weaving. Dude. And, like, ah! and the crazy thing is with the first two people he was going against, one of them was messing with his body, you know, messing with his equilibrium. The other one was messing with his mind. He's like... Let me ask you a question. You tell me the truth, because he has to tell the truth. Yeah. And I'm going to let your spirit break along with your body here. And, and Lemillion did not. He did not, he he did did not, not waver at yeah. all. He doubled down on what he said. Yeah. He's like, I'm here to save the girl, and here is why. Mm -hmm. And it was pretty impressive. That fight was pretty impressive, because I, 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 apparently it looks like the first guy, the equilibrium guy, makes it look like either you have vertigo or you feel like you're, you're, like you're drunk. drunk or something yeah. like that. And I, we've seen people take those... You know those alcohol tests on the, the side of the road <laughs> and we, we see how those turn out they don't they don't they don't turn out too well mm -hmm. but he he i mean he when he went through that wall he just said oh. and he just straight up just went ham on both of them i was like what that that came out surprise i was like i saw a little all in him i was like yo yeah he's like ultimate move power well he said he said uh phantom threat phantom yeah threat. that was so Dude, sick. see they name they have names for their attacks like actual <laughs> heroes. Mm -hmm. I was a little concerned though. I was a little concerned that it was gonna take him a long time, but unlike everybody else, he finished off his his villains like right away. Yeah. Like he was not, he was he focused. Was, yeah, he's like, he took out them two and then went straight to sh uh, overhaul. Mm -hmm. And he was like, I'm coming for you. And then like, yeah, that was, that was a dose. And speaking of overhaul, I mean, he, I didn't expect him to stand that much of a chance against him. Like he was, like overhaul had a hard time with him, and he was, he even gave him a compliment. He said, "This dude is strong." Mm -hmm. Like I I don't I don't I don't know where he came from, but this dude is strong. Yeah, o overhaul saw him not as like a, a little kid anymore. Mm -hmm. He saw him as, you know, like I think in that moment he saw him as an actual hero. Yeah, and, and then he was go ahead, no, keep going. No, and he was he was actually like a little a little taken back by it. He was like, "Wow, this dude is really good." Yeah, because he was saying student. He's like, "What are you gonna do, student?" He's yeah, like, blah blah blah. And then once, yeah, like you said, once you see him going, he's like, oh, crap. Yeah. Like, even the other guy, too, he's like, oh, shoot. And when he, like, put her down in the blanket. Dude, that was clean. I was like, because the whole time I was that like, was I don't think he can take other people with him. Uh, I don't I don't know how his quirk works, but if he can't take most of the clothes with him, then how is he going to be able to do that? So he can, so his his quirk is that he can manipulate, like, with the clothes that he's wearing, mm -hmm. he can make it invisible. So, because it's made out of his hair, yeah, right? Or, yeah. Or his DNA or something. So, that was that was that was so smart. Yeah. And then he went underneath and count, like with a counterattack. Dude, I was like, bro, yeah. he was just bouncing back and forth, back and forth. Because they can't hit him, they can't touch him. And he's he, invisible. Yeah, and he just kept talking about like how Night Eyes like predicting, predicting. Mm. What's their next move? What's their next move? And another thing we heard in this episode was that Overhaul actually has the ability. They perfected that drug. Now they can permanently, or at least he says he claims they can permanently take away people's quirks. Mm -hmm. And Overhaul threw that, threw that little drug to one of his guys with the gun, and dude, it, oh man, you know that scene. that scene. Okay, so that scene, like you, you think that they're gonna stop, all right? Okay, I'm done. Like my quirks all gone. That dude kept going, and he kept weaving through like his punches, and I was like, bro, he's still going. And it's like that just shows you that just like the quirk does not make the hero. Yeah, it's it's what you stand for. Mm -hmm. It's all about what you stand for. So I just I like that part about Lamillion. He's He's one, one million percent. One million percent of his power there. The crazy thing is, when I was watching it, I thought he didn't realize he lost his quirk. Yeah. Because he just kept going until like the last second he would dodge. I well, like, oh, okay, he does what, know. When I saw that he actually got injured, I was like, that's, yeah. And it was funny to see as he's diving towards the little girl, his face is like smiling, he looks all happy. And you can see as the episode goes on, like there was fear in her face when they were holding, the villains were holding her. And then towards the end, she was kind of like, um, the little kid Coda from season yeah. three, mm -hmm. when he's like at the end of the episode, you know, Boku no Hero, like Maduro is my hero, and you could see that happening yeah. to her. She's like, dude, Mirio is my hero. And Mirio, I think he was he was trying to give her that sense of hope, like everything's fine. It's mm -hmm. okay, I'm here. 
that, and that's when he was smiling at her when he was diving. So I think he was trying to, in a sense, comfort her, and mm-hmm. so it's like this isn't this isn't gonna happen again. Like yeah. you're you're good. Like we're we're good. We're th- we got this. And that's another thing. So going back to the previous two people he fought, when they were trying to break his spirits, he's like, dude, I am weak. He's like, I am weak, and I saw her. She was strong. She was saving our lives mm-hmm. by going back to overhaul. And he's like, I'm gonna do whatever it takes to make her never sad again, to make her happy, and to save her. And he legit, like, he kept his word. Overhaul was like, oh, once you lose your quirk, you know, you're done. Mm. And he, no, nah, he's he kept going and kept hitting overhaul. Yeah, it was. And overhaul was getting, he was getting mad. He was yeah, getting, it was like you, you silly. He's like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna break that away from you, that that spirit that you have. And I was like, we'll see, man. I was like, Lamillion's not gonna go down without mm. a fight, you know. And it's funny because even his dad kind of was like, hey, man, you know, this quirk's hard to use. If you don't want to be a hero, I mean, that would make sense. Like, I know you say you want to, but it's hard to perfect it. And then he said, no, I still want to go. And the dad's like, all right, I'll support you. So that that was cool to see that his dad was just like, didn't just shut him down completely. Mm -hmm. And was like, no, dude, you're not going to be a hero. Quit it. Give it up. Mm -hmm. After the show, we got another clip at the end. And we see how it looks like Lemillion's out, out of options. He's like done. It looks like. And then we see Midoriya come in. Looks like he, dude. What what do you call it? the the symbol of peace? The symbol new, of peace. The new symbol of peace. Who I who I think the new symbol of peace. It's coming in next episode. Is they're gonna do work? The preview for the next episode showed also Overhaul doing something with some dude. He was. It looked like he was gonna possibly fuse him or maybe like take his power or something but it looked like what i remember what you were saying like maybe it looks like he is trying to destroy him and then put him together but put him together like on him or you know know what i'm saying like like you know what i'm saying like fuse yeah it looked weird because there's like a bright light i don't know if that was part of the trailer or part of the actual episode yeah like is he is he legit blowing up his body or i don't i don't don't know I don't know, it's kind of speculating, but yeah. I just thought that was interesting. Looking forward to it. Looking forward to it. Yeah, it's pretty cool because we've been waiting this whole season to see them two go up against Overhaul. And we I kinda like this better seeing each one individually go against Overhaul. Mm-hmm. And not both of them at the same time. Cause then at the end of the day, you could have been like, you know, Overhaul was just so strong. If you would have got him one on one, he would have taken him out, which Overhaul and his group outnumbered Mirio, and Mirio was going ham on yeah. all of them. So if it wasn't for that stupid bullet. I swear, yeah, yeah. Mm. We see Toga and Twice go at it with Overhaul Squad, and they don't agree with how they have they're go, they're running things. And so there was a little division there, and they're saying, you know, we invited y'all to here, so we want we want y'all to be part of our squad, and you know, we need to know a little bit about your quirk and everything. But I mean, we want let like let us know what what is your quirk, so we can like, they, I think. I think what he was getting at was so we can distribute you appropriately and mm-hmm. see how you would, you can distort the, the heroes. And they were like, no. And then the guy with the ability who can make you tell the truth caused him to tell the quirk. And he was like, and basically they were like, um, I don't, I don't, I don't like, I don't like the way you are doing things. So I'm not going to follow your rules. And so there was a little, cause you see that little, um, guy with the ability that distorts the room. And yeah. And they're provoking him. Yeah. They're provoking him. So they're like, you know what? I, I'm, I'm done with this. You're like, we're doing our own thing. And in a sense, they were kind of rooting for the heroes. They were saying like, we hope, we hope they win because we don't, we don't like this group. They're not necessarily for the heroes. Yeah. But they're just kind of like more against the, the enemy. Yeah. It's so, like they're trying, they want their rivals to go down. And since they don't really have the power to take yeah. them down, they're like, we're going to let the, the heroes do some of that work for yeah. us. It's like what you said, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Thank you all for watching and supporting our channel. Don't forget to check out our social media accounts. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Let us know what you think about this episode review. Also, don't forget to follow our friends on their YouTube channels as well. They're all linked in the description and also on our channel page. You have Jay Frizzle and Clammy for gaming, Rich Aladdin for short films, and Trey today for vlogs. That's it. I'm Devin. I'm Noah. See you all next time. Peace. Peace.